Over the years, we've seen our fair share of nature while walking along the Texas shoreline. From sea turtles to dolphins, sand dollars to starfish, we thought we recognized most everything the waves carry in. But beachcomber Kay Lay says, we've had sand in our eyes this whole time, missing a tiny treasure that washes in from continents away. They grow in tropical regions all over the world, actually. And we are subtropical enough, and South Padre Island happens to be one of the best sea beaning beaches in the nation. In the nation? In the nation. Because in the rainforest, um, they, most of them grow on vines. There are some trees, and so in the season where the beans are falling to the forest floors, during the rainy season, the beans get washed into their fresh rivers, and then eventually the rivers, you know, empty into the, the ocean, and that's when they actually become known as a sea bean. What is this? Ah, sea heart. While the name might sound like something you'd find at your local supermarket, Kay can assure you these little round balls are anything but edible. She would most certainly know as she wrote the encyclopedia on everything sea beans, something that's earned her the title, the Sea Bean Queen. I had never heard of sea beans, although I had seen periodically some of them on the beach. Uh, didn't know what they were, uh, never collected them or anything, didn't, didn't really have a lot of interest in them at all. And um, I just happened to find a book, an old publication, and um, opened it up and I was thumbing through and there was an article on sea beans. And I'm like, what are sea beans and what, 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 you know, what is this about? And so I thought, well, gosh, you know, I'll see what I can find out more about these and see if I can find some on the beach myself. And I went out and all of a sudden I'm finding sea beans, but they're very few and far between there. They are very much like treasure hunting. You're just not hunting for the gold and the silver. You're hunting for these little treasures that are delivered on our beaches. And the mystery is we never know where a single bean comes from. Once the sea beans have been uncovered amongst the sand dunes and crashing waves, their journey has only begun. That's when Kay brings them back to her studio, where she transforms these ornaments of the sea into beautiful pieces of jewelry. I really just kind of try to keep them simple. I mean, they might be a little, some of them might be a little dressier than what some women would wear, but, um, I come from also a long line of big jewelry lovers. The women in my family love their jewelry. <laughs> just bend that a little bit, work it a little bit. It's just classic. I mean, it's got a classic yeah. design feel yeah. to it. While most beachgoers might be seeking seashells, Kay Lay snatches up the precious valuables they overlook. She's found not only a lifelong hobby, but a way to turn this simple earthly treasure into a work of art. Yet the most rewarding part to her is not finding these diamonds in the dunes, but the year spent simply walking the beach. I love coming out to the beach. I love the solitude. Walking the beach has a real beneficial calming effect for me. I'll probably live 10 years longer just because of having the beach. Looking for more stories like this one? Just hit the subscribe button for more great stories about Texas and Texans.